Hello, I'm Mark Thomas. Welcome to our Pause to Ponder. Here I read a few words from the Bible, comment on them, and we pray together. Welcome. Today I'm reading John chapter 14, verses 16 to 18. So please turn in that passage and uh, read along with me. John 14, verses 16 to 18. Jesus is speaking, and he says this. And I will ask the Father... And he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Jesus will return to the Father, but he will not leave his disciples alone. As they obey the commands of Jesus they will receive another advocate, a counsellor. You may have heard the Greek word paraclete used in this connection. Those who lovingly obey Jesus will be in receipt of this protecting spirit. The spirit encourages and strengthens them. The spirit is the spirit of truth. He assists the disciples by helping them to know and to speak the truth about Jesus Christ. There's a legal sense to this word advocate. The disciples will stand on trial, as it were, for the truth about God made known in Jesus Christ. They won't stand unaccompanied, but they will have this heavenly advocate assisting them. The sense of tension comes out in verse 17 in this passage, where the world will not recognise this advocate. In John's Gospel, the world usually means human society in rebellion to God. The world, in that sense, does not hold to the truth and so cannot see the spirit of truth. But the disciples know this spirit already, for he already lives within them, lives with you and will be in you, says the passage. They will in future know him intimately. Jesus' promise here, of course, is that you and I are not alone. The truth about Christ is contested in our world, sometimes bitterly so. But we do have one who is at our shoulder, at our side, standing with us, even if we do sometimes feel abandoned by God or weak. We are not spiritual orphans. And so we ought to be more conscious of this advocate spirit ministering to us. And we ought to remind one another that God is present with us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have sent your spirit of truth to us. Please help us to rely on him and to be more conscious of his presence and his work in our lives. Please encourage us to be bold in testifying to Jesus in the power of that spiritual advocate. Hear our prayer for your glory. Amen. Now, can I recommend that you go and read those words again from John's Gospel and then join me next time for the next session as I pause to ponder. Until then, take care and God bless.